What's up, everyone? Today's topic covers the top skills needed to get a job in cybersecurity. Now, rather than talk about the top jobs that pay over 100 grand a year, let's talk about the skills that get you to that sign range and beyond. Now, if you're new to IT, how are you supposed to use this knowledge, right? Well, I advise if you're signing up for a boot camp or a school to dig into their syllabus and investigate if there are hands-on labs that deal with the following subject matter. In all reality, that's how you build skills, right? You learn the principles of operation and then you apply that knowledge into an actual real world scenario over and over again. Simply put, that's the practice of turning knowledge into a skill that you can use immediately into your careers. Uh, well, that being said, here are the top and core foundational skills needed for a successful career in cybersecurity. What exactly we have here? Basic knowledge, right? Basic IT is pretty much self-explanatory. It should be fairly obvious why it's important to be able to operate a computer on Linux, Mac, and Windows. You should have in-depth knowledge of networking as well. And why, you may ask? Well, in cybersecurity, you're dealing with information and information flows through IP addresses and ports. Uh, there's just no way, really, a way around it. You'll need to be able to understand how information flows from the outside world into your organization's network, and additionally understanding how routers and switches will ensure that you will have a great understanding of how to protect your organization, which leads to the next skill set that you will need, and that is going to be network security. Now, network security, you don't really learn about networking without learning about network security in today's modern world. But network security is a concept of protecting your data and to end the infrastructure from harm, ensuring that your data moving across your network is protected by encryption and that all users that are inside of your network authorized. Uh, you could also say that the network security is ensuring that the network stays in an operational state. It's an up as much as possible. In the event of any type of disaster um, or external events like power failure, chances are if you're a modern business, if your network is down, you're gonna be losing money. So part of network security is ensuring that the company is profitable and everybody's able to operate. Okay. Once you have firm understanding of how computers work, how computers communicate across various networks, and you understand how those networks are protected, this is when it's appropriate to dig a little deeper into hacking. Now, call it red teaming, call it offensive security, call it ethical hacking. Uh, basically, th these all boil down to the same foundational activities, which is basically the idea of active defense. Basically, what you're doing as a red teamer is to discover vulnerabilities, actively discover vulnerabilities, documenting said vulnerabilities, and then coming up with remediation or overseeing the remediation. Every company does it a little bit different, but those are your basic ideas, right? This is a highly complex and ever-evolving skill set with dozens of domains of expertise. Uh, this is not a short or quick endeavor. It requires uh, it, re it requires expert knowledge in workings of Linux, Windows, and the server variants of each. It requires cursory understanding of scripting language like Python and command of hundreds of tools like Nmap, Metasploit, Hydra, GoBuster, Hashcat, PowerShell, and further in-depth knowledge of more protocols like Kerberos, RPC, and LDAP. And those are lots of things that just make you want to explode your brain, but it is probably going to be one of those satisfying subjects to learn about. It really, you really just feel like a wizard when you when you're you're digging into these protocols. And last but not least, a topic or a skill set near and dear to my heart, and that is going to be Digital forensics and incident response. The skills required to investigate cyber crimes, both active and ongoing, or prior incidents that were just recently discovered, the ability to walk into a crime scene and take forensically defensible images. Now, forensically defensible basically means being able to stand in a court of law and say, yes, the methodology that I used is beyond reproach. This is the way how everybody does it, and you cannot critique it. That's what forensically defensible means. Uh, you take these images of hard drives and other various media, uh, be that be cameras, phones, whatever holds information. You take those uh, images of those devices and then you analyze them looking for artifacts. Now, artifacts is a way of just saying clues. You're looking for clues of something clues or indicators of any activity that had happened. Now, we do this by utilizing tools like volatility, 
autopsy, DD, or whatever flavor of hex editor uh, you might want to use. You use these tools by applying knowledge of file types, understanding how attackers might have breached the computer network, identifying the path that they took into the network, and investigating those points accordingly by analyzing their logs and coming up with a timeline of what had occurred during the attack, or if it's something real time, to stop them right in their tracks. Now, you use all of the knowledge that you have built up from those core foundational skills. Basic knowledge uh, of networking and computer system leads on over to understanding of network security. Understanding network security leads on over to offensive security. Once you understand how to defend something, then you can probably start guessing on how to crack into it. Once you learn how to break into something, you can learn how to investigate if somebody broke in. Now, these are some of the core skills required to get you into a job in cybersecurity. Now, this is going to be great because we are gonna start a series here on NGT Academy dealing with these subject matters. So hopefully, on a regular basis, we'll have a subject matter of real world skills, little by little, that we are going to publish out to you guys. So I'm very excited about that. My name is Aiden, and I am an NGT instructor here at NGT Academy, and I hope to see you again next time. Jacob Hess here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I'd also like to remind you, if you're truly serious about your career in information technology, then be sure to check out our IT engineer training programs at www.zerotoengineer.com.